All right, welcome. We got another quick shift video for you. Uh, today we're doing it on my truck. For those of you who don't know, I have a 1965 Ford F100. We call it the Hoon truck because I don't know, I'm stupid, uh, but whatever. It has the vanity plate now, so it's official. Hashtag Hoon truck. Um, so I have to show you something in this that's long overdue. Thanks to the good people at Clarion, this truck has a modern sound system. And I haven't spoke about it yet, which is terrible of me because, disclaimer, they put it in, I didn't pay anything. Uh, Beach Auto Sound in Huntington Beach fully installed the system and I think they did an awesome job. Uh, so now I'm going to walk you through the sound system. All right, so in here it's all old school as it should be. Um, and I'll show you some of this individually, but for now I'll just talk you through the system. Right here, and I'll put the, uh, truck into accessories mode. Uh, so right here I have Clarence NZ503 head unit. And a lot of you are going to give me shit about this because this it doesn't match the looks of the rest of the truck. And I get it. However, the dash was already cut. So I, I decided to get something modern in here. And I don't I, even I don't love the way it looks in here just because it looks out of place. In a modern car, this would fit in naturally. But how the thing works I'm totally in love with. So I can open it up and we had to space it out a little bit to clear the dash because this, you know, you, I'm not cutting into that part of the dash. Um, but once it opens up, uh, and again, I'll cut to this so you can see all this stuff. There's a bunch of menus. It's a touch screen so you can slide things around. Um, so technically also now in my 1965 Ford F100, I have navigation. I don't have it hooked up yet, but I do have the rear view camera that goes with this, which is actually going to be really helpful when parallel parking a non-power steer, non steering having uh, long bed. It gets difficult. Um, so it can connect through Bluetooth to my phone. Uh, I have a cable down there so I can connect directly that way. You can play video when you're stopped. Uh, it can do Pandora. It can do Sirius. It can do, you know, all that shit. And it can do the radio because it's a radio. It has a CD player, but who the own CDs these days. Uh, and then if you don't want the screen out, you can close it. There's different, oh, and it, it'll do Bluetooth phone too, so I can take phone calls in my 1965 truck. Uh, so all of that, I really appreciate. Now, when um, you need speakers, obviously, and the truck originally had one speaker wired up and hung where the glove box should be. That's dumb. Uh, so I didn't do that. What we did is we went into the doors. So I have Clarion's component system here in the doors. Six and a half's in the door with a small tweeter as well. With the six and a half, we did cut into the metal of the door. I'm not going to apologize for that. It's fine. Whatever. There's tons of Ford F100s out there. If someone wanted to remove that, whatever. The tweeter we cut into the plastic uh, white trim, which is fine because this stuff is cheap and you can get it at LMC truck or wherever. I got it from LMC truck. I paid for this. Um, pay for this, I can cut into it. Uh, I don't know why I use that voice when I'm in my truck. But so we've got the component system here with the six and a half and the tweeters. We were originally going to add six by nines too, and they wanted to put them back here behind the seat. But there's a gas tank there. Yes, in these old trucks, and I haven't converted it to not being inside the cab with me, but there's a gas tank. I don't smell fuel. It's not the safest thing to have, but whatever. There's a gas tank right there. So you always have a partner. Nice warm body sitting behind you. And as you saw in my Ben's Fuel Fix It, apparently I love having fuel wash over my skin. The chemical rash is nearly away. Now, there's also an amplifier uh, buried under the seat, um, but there is also a pair of powered subs. To fit them under the seat, uh, we had to make sure the seat was all the way back. I'm always going to have the seat all the way back anyway, but we had to cut the spring where you would adjust the seat. Whatever. I didn't, again, I don't care about that either. Um, this isn't a show truck. The seat's all the way back, and 95% of anybody who would drive this who isn't me would want the seat all the way back anyway. So powered subs, they can be on a separate remote control, but these are wired in together, and I can control them from the head unit. So that's all well and good. The sound is awesome. Uh, I don't know about you guys. I know some of you have cars. I just like to listen to my engine, man. Well, I can do both because the engine's loud as fuck and now the radio's loud as fuck. But this is a cruiser. And when I'm cruising up and down PCH or around Lake Forest, uh, I like to listen to good music and I like it to sound clean and clear. And this does that. And I'm very happy with the system. I sh I've shown you the stereo, but I want to show you a little bit of what else is in store for this truck. Right here, this is a brand new windshield. And I'm thinking about trying to install that myself and anybody who does car stuff um, is telling me that's a horrible idea. Uh, it's doing the cord method, which is this really slick way to do it. 
Uh, and it doesn't seem that difficult, but everybody's saying it's really cheap to just have someone do it and do it right. So I'm debating, but I do have a brand new windshield because that one is shot to sh So I'm just gonna take a quick peek at some of the other stuff I ordered from LMC Truck, who is helping me out by giving us a bunch of cool stuff to do. I don't need that box cutter um, at the moment. Maybe I do. Um, so I think this is a variety of parts in here. A grab bag, if you will. All right, I'm gonna use the cutter because I'm a little bitch. Um, so, uh, just quick glance. Uh, I mentioned there used to be a speaker in the glove box. Now there's going to be a glove box in the glove box. Uh, what is this? Oh, uh, bushings. Upgraded bushings. Because I'm gonna have mad handling prowess, yo. Uh, so there's new bushings in there. Um, this, I think, is probably new trim. Yeah, this looks like new... It's probably for the window. It's probably for the windshield. So this is probably new trim around the windshield. Um, and this, I, if I know, if I think what this is, so those are parts. Um, <laughs> I think this is more handling related things. I'm probably opening this upside down. So it's gonna make that noise again. Uh, but let's cut in and see what we got in here. Um, and I will speed this up so it's not just me slicing boxes. Oh, that's a staple. Like I said, I got all those bushings. Um, oh, there's the box in the way. I'm going to cut myself on staples. You have been arm deep in something. Uh, there's an outtake. Uh, that I, all right. How do I get all this in here? Ouch. Uh, okay, we'll open you up in a second and see what you are, but this is the one I wanted to show you. Come on, you. I'm swearing a lot on this one. I swear a lot on all of them, though. Shibuya! Sway bar! Um, so that's kind of cool. Not that, I mean, I'm not autocrossing this thing, but if you can make the handling a little bit better, why not, right? Um, so let's pop that somewhere for now. Uh, what else is in here? Is there's, no, that's it. So let's cut open this box and see what's in here. It might be more bushings, actually. All the bushings, oops, trying to ruin my hook. Uh, yeah, it looks like it is suspension bits. Um, I don't want to know what that's for. Uh, Ford pickup, 31-inch frame centers with narrowed shock mounts, uh, brackets, end links, bolts. So here, look. It's basically to hang that shit. So, you know, this shouldn't be that difficult to install because it's using existing holes. Uh, let's see, assemble, Lay the bar on top, have someone bounce, the, this is one of the steps, have someone bounce the rear of the vehicle so that you can check that all the parts clear throughout the suspension travel distance and then road test it. Um, as we cannot supervise your installation or, or your driving, that's great, we cannot be held responsible for more than the cost of the kit. Uh, so there you go. Um, so yeah, um, it'll be interesting to see what this does, if anything. I mean, it will do something. So it'll be interesting to see how that changes all that. Oh, and these are stickers because I have a daughter. Um, so we've got some cool stuff coming from the truck. I needed to show you that stereo. I really wanted to show you that stereo, but a lot of other things have gotten in the way. And now that we're doing this quick shift series, and I still hate the name. Um, <laughs> and if you have an idea for a name, say it below. Um, not here, but you know, in the comments, say it down there and maybe, maybe you'll, if you say a good enough name and we like it, I'll send you a, a t-shirt and some stickers or something. Um, I like adding or something cause then I can change it at the last minute. Uh, so help us think of a name, help us think of a name. Um, but yeah, so we got some cool stuff coming on this truck. There'll be more episodes of the Mercedes. I, I, I want to do wheels and tires on that. So I got to think about how I'm going to do that soon. Um, I've been debating the idea of putting it on air. 
but that could be opening myself up to headaches that I don't need in my life, but we'll, we'll see about that one. I'm gonna add a sound system to that one, but that one will be hidden. I'm not gonna remove the Becker. I'm just gonna add some speakers and an amp and some basics on that one. But that one's gonna be much cleaner than the install on this one, though I will say the sound quality on this one is excellent, even without the six by nines that were supposed to go in to further round it out. Having that six and a half and the tweeter, the component system mixed with the subs, and there's the amplifier, a four channel amp in there, sounds great, super happy about it. Um, so that's it for this episode. You need to click subscribe, you need to watch more videos and you need to visit Hooniverse.com. I don't know where I'm putting those, but that seems like a good approximation. So that's all for this episode. See you around.